Okay, so quickly, let's look at three, um, three, le four levels, four levels of the blessing of Abraham. In, in, we have said in uh, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, of God, what God showed Abraham. He said, get thee out of your country. Get thee out from among your kindred. Get into your father's house. Unto a land that I will show thee. So that's Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Say, And the Lord said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto the land I will show thee. So it's like God was giving, uh, revealing to Abraham a vision. He was saying, Okay, this is my intention for you. It was now left for Abraham to respond. Say, I will make you a great nation. I will bless thee. I will make thy name great. And then thou shalt be a blessing. So it's like a vision. So it's like an entrance. If somebody get born again, God says, okay, uh, my intention for you uh, is not to just go to heaven. My intention for you is to sit upon the throne. It makes it clear. It makes it plain for you. So, but that didn't end for Abraham. Abraham progressed beyond that. The second thing we see, and the most significant thing, is Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15. Uh, it, it, it's, that's when we can say Abraham encountered the experience of born again, uh, the type of born again. Uh, that's where he experienced uh, the experience of born again. So I will read from verse 1, but what the verse we need actually is verse 6. Uh, he said, after these things, the word of God came unto Abraham in the vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy sheep, and thy excellent great reward. And Abraham said, Lord God, what would thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the, the steward of my house is Eleazar the Damas of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is my head. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Verse 4, this shall not be thy hair, but he that shall comfort out of thy own bowels shall be thy hair. And, and he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the stars, if thou art able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. Okay. And verse 6 says, And he believed in the Lord. And it was counted for him for righteousness. He counted. So the, the New Testament in Romans tells us, he reckoned unto him for righteousness. That is, he said, it was imputed unto him for righteousness. So at that point in time, when God sees Abraham, he sees Abraham righteous. So we use an illustration. He said, no weapon that is fashioned against thee shall prosper. Every word that rises up against thee in, in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So it's uh, uh, Balaam and Balak. They tried to curse the nation of Israel. He said, there's no enchantment against Jacob. There's no enchantment against Jacob. There's no divination against Israel. Because of what? He said, their righteousness is of me. So we are saying that that's imputed righteousness. You are, you are immediately you are born again. God sees you righteous. You are justified. We say, okay, we can say in a time, this point in time of Genesis 15 is when Abraham got born again. From what we have been saying. It was counted for him to be righteous. Amen. 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 Remember, God showed the vision to him in Genesis chapter 12. In Genesis chapter 15, we see him getting born again, getting saved. Amen. We see him getting born again, getting saved. But it's just the, the, the starting of the process, starting of the process. Then there's something that happened to him, and God gave him something more further, something more inside. Okay. We say, uh, uh, he has okay. We, we, we mentioned that he is born again. He has that experience, but that was not the end because we are talking about the blessing of Abraham. It starts at the beginning, but it continues to the end. So, he, what does this mean? The mean now is that he has the blessing of justification. God set a table before him, Amen. In the presence of his enemy, there's now time to eat, to dine, to wine. But let's. That's number two. The first thing. Oh, you can write this down. Genesis 12, 1, talk about the vision. Genesis 15, 16, verse 6, talk about the blessing of justification. He entered into it. 
it was reckoned for him to write your sentence. That's number two. Number three is when God told him that you can be a perfect man. You can stand upon the earth and be perfect. That's in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. Then Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. And then the final one, when he entered his inheritance, is when he took Isaac for sacrifice. That's in Genesis chapter 22, okay? Verse, verse 12. Uh, all that verse, that's when he took uh, Isaac from Mount Moriah and the place of sacrifice. He said, because God has done this, I have not withheld thy son, thy only son. Okay, so that's Genesis chapter 22, verse 12. So we see four things, four things. The first thing is the vision, is the clarity. Okay, the second thing is that you make him uh, accept him. Be born from above. Be born from above. And that's in Genesis chapter 15. Then we can talk about these details later. And if God grant us favor and grace, we'll go deep into it. There, but there's no amount of sharing you share. It will have a component of these things that we are sharing. Yeah, this because it's because the gospel was given to Abraham, so it's a it's a big type. So Genesis chapter seventeen verse one, he said something that he wants you to be a perfect man. Told Abraham to be a perfect man. The same thing told that rich man. He said, if thou want to become perfect, you should do this thing, do this thing, do this thing. The same thing. Okay. So in Genesis chapter twenty two verse twelve, it talks about you coming to the fullness of life. He took uh, Isaac for sacrifice. And, and uh, God responded uh, because they have done it. He, he said, saw a ram caught in the ticket of his sons. So let's briefly just go to Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. And we have lots of background that have been helping us in Thursday meeting and all that. So, but in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, it said, And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, God appeared to Abraham. Remember in this condition we are looking at Abraham or Abraham was already born again. God appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. The almighty God means the fully breasted one. The one that is ministering. Re Revelation chapter one. The one that is ministering from a, his breast. The one that is ministering the, 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 the ancient of days. Full of life. Full of power. Full of glory. The, the, the son of man in all his majesty. He said, I saw one like unto a son of man. Yeah, you see, he said, the fully breasted of the almighty God, able to supply all you need. Revel, uh, Genesis chapter one. You know, Genesis chapter, chapter, the garden of Eden condition. Genesis chapter two. Uh, Genesis chapter three. He, all the resources of heaven is, is available unto you, available unto the church. He's able to give all the resources for his bride. Amen. Amen. So that's what we see here. A fully breasted one. I am the Lord God. Walk before me and be that perfect. So this is a higher invitation. God is inviting Abraham to come to the place of perfection. He's calling to come to the place of perfection. Brethren, if you are not in the place of perfection, you can't come to the place of glorification. Amen. Amen. There's perfection. There's glorification. But to get to glorification, you must be perfected. He said, be that perfect as a God, as a Father in heaven is perfect. So there's a realm of perfection. So the work, the, the, the work of God towards his church is to bring them to perfection. Amen? He said, I am the almighty God. I'm the fully breasted one. The word there is El Shaddai. El Shaddai, the fully breasted one. I have all the resources, all the butter, all the milk, all the butter, all the milk all the butter and the honey to bring you to that state of life. Say, so walk thou before me and be thou perfect. So the, on God's side, all the resources are available. On, on your side, you are to, supposed to what? walk thou before me. Walk thou before me. Walk thou before me. Walk thou before me. So let's quickly look at what we already know. We already know some things and we just build on what we know. Matthew chapter 19. Verse 21, and Jesus said unto him, if thou would be perfect, the word perfect there is telios. It's telios. I was looking at it again and again today. Telios. It means to come to an exit of maturity. It's not saying you should be um, uh, uh, manifesting God. It's not talking about that. It's talking about to be an exit of maturity. A, an adult. 
you are not techno, you are not, or you are not a child, you are not a child, you are, you are not like a child, a child is not different from a servant, then you are mature. It's an exit of maturity. If that would be perfect, go and set all that has. So in, in this exit, it's bringing you to a, a place of sacrifice. Gather my sins unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. If that would be perfect, go and sell all thou that houses and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Come and follow me. He said, he told Abraham, he said, what? Well, I am the almighty God. Walk thou before me. Be my disciple. Walk thou before me and be that perfect. So it's an invitation to a higher realm. Brethren, many Christians just stop at what? Justification. The first day, the, the, the the second stage in our this thing, they, they are called to the, the, uh, the to, to be born again. They just stay. They are justified. God, God will come to them as righteous, but they don't take on that sacrifice. They don't take on that sacrifice. Gather my sense unto me. Those that have made the covenant will be my sacrifice. But when they are gathered, God has to process them. Amen. Amen. So we see there a, a higher level, a higher level of what you resolving in your heart, brother James. Brother John, uh -huh. Brother Joe, Brother uh, 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 any person, they can't decide for you. Nobody can decide for you. If that will be perfect, if that will come to this estate of maturity, go and sell what thou hast. So it's a place of sacrifice and have treasure in heaven. Come on and follow me. If that will be perfect, walk thou before me. Walk thou before me and be thou perfect. Walk that before me. Uh, let's look at what we know. Uh, Luke chapter 19. Okay, it's Luke, Luke 9, sorry. Luke 9, not 19. Luke 9, verse 23. Uh, people say they can't be perfect out there, uh, but that's one of the, the lies of the devil. Verse 23, and he said unto them, if any man will come after me. So, so if you look at Abraham, he has to deny himself. He has to deny us and take up his cross and follow him. It is as we follow him that we are doing, we know the transformation. It is as we follow him that we know the ministration of the water to, 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 to walk those character into us, those natures into us. By the great and precious promises, we come partakers of the divine natures. Okay, we see here that we have to deny ourselves he has to deny and sell all the goods that he had, take up his cross, his cross, his cross, in the, in, in, the, in, in the light of the cross of Jesus and follow Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? So let's quickly look at uh, three scriptures. Okay, let's look at uh, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Please open the Bible to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. It's important you open the Bible to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Okay, so in, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13, he said, Till we all come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. The word perfect there is the same thing we are saying before is telios. Telios. So, but the word till means there's something happening. Okay, it's something happening. So, in, in the church, God has set some things in the church. He has set it up. The garden of inner condition, the environment of your blessing, there's something God has put in place there to bring you and me to the extent of perfect man. It, we say the extent of the perfect man is a, an adult. An adult. An adult does not, throw, does not toss, throw here and there by every wind of doctrine, verse 14. That we end for be no more children. We are no more children. A perfect man. Toss to and fro, carry the be by every wind of doctrine, by the slight of man and craftiness. The, this estate of a perfect man is the estate of maturity. You understand God's provision. You under God's, understand God's plan. You have the song of Moses. You have the song of the Lamb. You know his plans. You know his provision. You are a perfect man. You are skilled in the word of truth. You are skilled in the world of, 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 of life. Christ has made it known to you. By what? By the ministry of the house. 
He said, till we all come to the unity of faith. Verse 12, verse 12, Ephesians 4, 12. For the perfect, no, Ephesians, <laughs> Ephesians 4, 11. And he gave some apostles as a prophet and some evangelists and some pastors or shepherds and teachers for what? For equipping, for, 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 for giving the saints skill. God provided this thing. The perfect thing there means to give skill, to give, um, to, to furnish graces. As we fellowship together, as the, the, the gifts in the church fellows together, graces are imparted in our brethren. It's imparted in us. And God stirs them up to work in the ministry. He pulls you out to work, to be laborers. In the, so if somebody comes in tomorrow that is, that is just born again, as the ministry goes on, God, that person is equipped, is endowed, is, is, is furnished so that he can work in the house. So the body ministers to the body. To build up the body of Christ. And the family means to build up. To build up the body of Christ. It's a deal. We all come. So as we fellowship, don't take this fellowship casually. Four things God told me today. Four things. As we fellowship together, it comes to us by revelation. It comes to us by prophecy. It comes to us by doctrine. It comes to us as, as we fellowship together with our brethren. There's ministration coming to us. Four dimensions. Revelation, knowledge, knowledge, I, I didn't mention knowledge earlier, knowledge, prophecy, and what? Doctrine. He builds up his house. So as we gather together, God is in the songs, in the worship, in the prayers, there's impartation of life. So what are we saying? God provides this environment so that he can build up his house to come to the unity of, of faith. Of faith to understand, to comprehend, then it brings out to knowledge. The knowledge of God shall be rich. Every child, every adult, every person knowing God for, for what's intention? To bring us to what? To a perfect man. 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 So you are mature. We are mature in, in terms of God's work. We are mature in terms of God's provision. Things are not dark. Everybody knows that. God's not going to take us out of this world, as they say in rapture. No, but in, in this right here, we are transformed to fulfill his purpose, to fulfill his counsel. Amen? Amen? So, to a perfect man, to a perfect man. So, that perfect man, which, which we will say more about, is the place of, of maturity. You are morally mature, mentally mature, moral stability. You are stable in the place of ministry. No moral failure. How does the person say somebody to take another man's wife? No. Morally stable. Morally stable. Ministerially stable. Clean hands. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 So let's look at another two other place. God wants to bring you to that place. He said, be thou perfect as thy heavenly father in heaven is perfect. They walked out before me and be thou perfect. We have to work. We have to resolve. You have to resolve in your hearts. I want to walk that before you, Lord. I want to walk that before you. Hallelujah. And the, 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 the fully breasted one, Christ Jesus, Revelation chapter one, he comes to minister all those graces from his head to his toe. All those characteristics that he was telling the, the seven churches, he come to you, walk it into your life. Amen. Amen. Ephesians, um, no, Philippians chapter three, Verse 15. In 15, he says, Let us therefore, as many as be perfect. So, okay, be thus minded. And if in anything ye are otherwise minded, God will reveal even this unto you. What is Paul saying here? Paul, what's he saying? He's saying that in the church, there's some people that are perfect and include himself into it. At this point in time, say, I've come to that estate of life, I'm perfect. Let us, therefore, as many as be perfect. It was already perfect. He said, this knowledge, we have this understanding. He said, but there are some people among us that are not perfect. He said, if anything, if in anything, you are not otherwise, if you don't know this thing because you are not come to this level of life, God will reveal this unto you. Amen. What was he talking about? In, in verse 14, he said, in verse 13, he said, brethren, I can't know myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, 
forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forth unto things which are before. Verse 14, I press toward the mark of the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore as many as be perfect. So there's an estate that one can come to. It's an estate that is, is a, a provision in the covenant for us. Amen, amen. I've said a lot. Just God, we one more scripture, or one or two more scriptures. Colossians chapter 1, verse 28. Um, okay, let's start from 26. 26, 27, 28. Even the mystery which had been hid from the ages and from generations, but is now made manifest to his sense. Okay, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. For what was the goal that we may present? Every man tell us in Christ Jesus. So, so the, the, the ministry in the church, the ministry in the church, the, the, the fivefold ministry, and the ministry of the saints, the ministry of the saints, the work of the ministry, say, the, 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 to, to equip the saints to the work of the ministry, to, to the edifying of the body of Christ. We all come to the unity of faith, to the knowledge of God, to a perfect, unto a perfect man. So what is telling you there here is that the ministry God has made available for us, we can enter into this. We can come to this estate of life by what the ministry of the church to yourself. He said, we, whom we preach. He didn't say me, 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 me. He said, whom we, we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. Ah! It's all wisdom, not some wisdom, but all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ. So this estate of perfection can be attained. We can get into it, but it is it is a growth in the work of righteousness. It's the growth of the work of uh, justification, but it's an estate that we can get into. Justification is a process that starts when we receive the Lord Jesus Christ, but it takes us to the end. It takes us to the end. But as we see, God starts taking, need our commitment. You have to be committed. Say, walk that before me. You have to be committed. You have to take your course. You have to follow him. He said, if that will be perfect, set all that you have. There's a higher life, an extent of life. The guy born again that is saved, there's nothing wrong with that. The meek shall inherit the earth. There's, is, there's something fine. He doesn't want to commit himself to something higher. That's okay. <laughs> but if you want to go after him, you want to become like him, you want to come to that essence of a perfect man. I'm not saying it, 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 uh, by and by in the heavens. No. A perfect man, man full of maturity, able to rightly divide the word of truth, knowing the lines, the, 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 the purposes, the counsels, the intentions of God, knowing it in all clarity. It is an estate we can get into. I'm not talking about the entering into the age of the fullness of Christ. Not that. I'm not talking about it. it coming to, that's, that's another scripture. That's another message. But coming to the estate of a perfect man is a provision for us. It's a provision for the house. It's a provision for us. And God has given us various types and so that we can attain unto it. We can come, we can receive the ministry of the fully breasted one. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord grant us Amen. deep peace. May the Lord open up the heavens unto us. May these things become clear and clear and clear and clear and clear in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.